Hi, it's your wholesome fan boy here, Brian. This audio you're hearing right now is unedited, and forgive me for any stuttering or if I get kind of tearful. I love you, mom, but you got me a phone with no headphone jack, and I don't even have a Bluetooth pair, so it's either Bluetooth or die for me at this point. And there should be some warnings and disclaimers at the beginning of this video if not in the description, so please be warned about the topics I'm discussing. So, I just want to say my current state as of right now, I think this has been the lowest I've ever been, genuinely, and I think it's even worse than when COVID came around, and that's saying something considering how much of a detrimental toll it took on me and many other people. I'm someone who has always had a hard time talking and connecting with people, and it's become even worse now because as much as I don't want to come to terms, but I have to at this point, I'm still very much isolating myself. But when I was still going to community college, it was even worse, admittedly. I was too scared, and I'm still kind of anxious to reach out to people and talk with them about what I'm dealing with or what I've dealt with because I've been pushed away or dismissed whenever I try to talk to people or when I'm just honest about my current emotions. And I'm going to say this right now, not everyone can be happy. Not everyone is going to feel joy and not everyone is just going to turn off their negative emotions. I'm talking a little more with people now, but it's really only online as I don't know if I have any friends that I've known for a long time uh, staying where I'm currently living now. But anyways, I'm still having a hard time connecting with other people and I'm someone who prefers like smaller Discord servers or small get-togethers because of my social anxiety and being brushed aside after just saying a simple hello into the chat. Now, pre-COVID time for me, I was a freshman, um, 14 to 15 year old, years old during the high school, during the school year in high school. <laughs> there was the senior who was 18 years old, who would constantly make the joke that he was going to rape me. And I don't really, I didn't really think about it then, but now that I'm isolated, having to process everything hurts me more than ever. Another thing that happened to me when I was still a freshman was taking a welding class. And for some context, I wasn't identifying as transgender back then. Uh, I was still identifying as cisgender. And at the time, I thought I was a lesbian. I was open about it for whatever reason, but I don't believe that can excuse a bunch of other 18-year-old seniors telling me that I, I needed to get digged down. I want you to keep in mind that this was a four to three year age gap with me being 14 to 15 years old during my freshman year at high school. That's real. Uh, like endeavors that I've come across. So now I just want to talk about things online that happened to me. So when I was in a furry Discord server, someone added me and eventually I got into his Discord server where it was just his friends and all that. And I was 16 and... I believe this guy was in his 20s. I say that because he showed me his face and I showed him my face. I'm someone who typically looks and sounds a little younger than I actually am. I remember him sending me memes, but these were hentai and overall very suggestive anime memes. Things like things that would have been like a subway sandwich where a male's privates were. And I remember having... I, I remember a few memes ha having actual rape in them. And it's really fucking disturbing how 
people just kind of trivialize really traumatic things like that. He would also have music box or music bots in our voice call sometimes and would just play that really dumb Jingle Bells rock song where it's uh, the guy singing some really explicit stuff. You know, the one I'm talking about. It wasn't until about a year later I came to terms with what happened and sorry on and I wanted him to know that he hurt me and that I've had suicidal ideation and have self-harmed because of not only the things that have happened to me but when I was a freshman but also what he sent me and he didn't apologize in fact his wife actually came in to defend him and tried to use his autism as an excuse for sending me all that shit. Someone else that was, something else that was pretty brief but still really gross was him bringing me into a group chat where porn was being sent. He knew I was a minor and still had the brilliant idea of bringing me into a place where Rule 34 was being spammed into the chat. Another person online contacted me and we started talking and for whatever reason this dude thought it was a good idea to say that he was masturbating while we were talking. And what's fucked up is that he acknowledged I was 16 at the, at the time while also stating that he was 19 and even going as far to say that the cops where he lived didn't care, meaning that he knew what he was doing was wrong and he even thought it was a good idea to send me a video of him uh masturbating to completion something i also want to note that has been making me feel horrible are the nightmares i've had 16 and counting about 16 nightmares of me being raped and experiencing the pain of something that would mean so much to me suddenly being ripped apart and defiled uh well that was rough i'm still trying to process the feelings i have today i'm unsure of how to move on and properly heal from everything that's happened to me because i've never been told of how i can just move on from anything uh, and i don't know how to process this pain that i'm going through properly because again i'm not really sure it <sighs> i am like i said i'm nervous about reaching out to other people um I'm nervous. I'm kind of nervous about going to other people and servers that I've talked to before because I really don't want to burden with them. Like, the things that happened to me and I'm not even sure if they would even know how to help me. I'm really not sure who I can go to anymore. I'm really just some artist that can't just work through all of that with drawing consistent vent pieces because then I'd be at it all day going in one continuous loop of never-ending pain like I am now but that's just all I have to say regarding my skeletons goodbye